In this video, we're going to attempt to factor 5x squared y plus 15xy minus 35x squared minus 105x. We have seen many different skills that can be used to factor. The trick is knowing which skill and technique to apply at which time. With any problem, the very first step we should always check for is the greatest common factor. In this problem, you see we have a greatest common factor of 5x. Factoring out this 5x leaves behind xy plus 3y minus 7x minus 21. To decide our next step, we base it on the number of terms. 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. When there are 4 terms, the only trick we have is grouping. So we'll split this down the middle after the second term and continue to factor on the left and right side. In this problem, remember the 5x is in front of everything. On the left side, there's a GCF of y, leaving behind x plus 3. On the right side, there's a GCF of negative 7, leaving behind x plus 3. Notice we do have the binomial GCF that we're looking for in this problem. Keep the 5x out front, then the x plus 3, and then the remaining stuff, the y minus 7, becomes our last factor, and we've reached our solution by factoring by grouping. We can always check this answer to be sure it's correct by multiplying out the problem as we have it. When multiplying a monomial times two binomials, we can multiply in several orders. I always like to do the binomials first. Keeping the 5x out front, x times y is xy, x times negative 7 is negative 7x, 3 times y is 3y, and 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. Finally, finish our check by distributing the 5 through the entire thing, giving us 5x squared y minus 35x squared plus 15xy minus 105x. The middle terms are in a different order, but they can be switched because addition can happen in either order, and we see we've got the same thing we started with. This tells us our answer of 5x times x plus 3 times y minus 7 is the correct answer for factoring our problem.